Okay, so let's start. Kanta <laughs> talaga siya. Anyway, palitan ko na lang siguro itong kwan. That's it. Okay, so last week, uh, we didn't meet because we have a foundation day. Tapos sa following day ata, we don't have any current. Walang kuryente. But, I'll be posting our topics. Okay, so, this is my reference. And, ipopost ko muna dun sa week 7. Okay. And then, video demonstration. Ha? Huh? It will add to numbers. It's not that simple, right? Because then. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, data binding. Reference and also my module. Week 7. until next week topic week 7 <coughs> then what else mom yes mom See you, Mom. Grounded talaga siya. Anyway, I'll be posting our Google Meet later on. Anyway, this is video recorded. Okay, so let's start. muna tayo. Introduction about the Django Python. Okay. So, welcome to Python and the Django web development. So, later on, you will be creating your web application using Python and the Django. <coughs> okay. So, we've already discussed what is Python. So for the web development, uh, you can use the Django, Pyramid, and Flask. But in our subject, uh, I will teach you on how to use the, the Django. And Python is also used for scientific and numeric computing, computing uh, desktop GUIs, and for the software development also. Uh, by the way, later on, during your finals, you will be uh, developing a software using Python and the I know Python and Tkinter. So for the Python patterns, we have two patterns. You can use the model view controller or the model view template. But in my demonstration, I'm using I'll be using the model view template. <laughs> Presenter. I'll be checking your attendance later on. Okay, so for the MVC, uh, the MVC pattern was created to separate the business logic from representation. So we have the views, view model, and we have the controller. Uh, but we'll be using the M MVT or the model view templates. 
So the model view templates is software design pattern. It is a collection of three important components which is the model view and template. Okay. <clears throat> so for example we have the user and then we have the computer. Um, for the, the Django uh, you have the URLs or the path and then we have the views, models and template. Uh, later on in my demonstration, uh, I will show you what is view, model, or and template. Okay, so how to install the Python? We've already installed the Python. And then in addition, uh, we'll be using the pip uh, yep, later on. And then also the, the Django. And later on, you will be creating this application, portfolio application, using the Django. Okay. So now, uh, let me open a subline. Hindi pala, Visual Studio Code. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, I forgot. Our module is already posted in our Google Classroom. Group one, okay, group one, group two. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Okay. But in our module, I used command prompt. But anyway, uh, same lang naman. So you can use command prompt or Visual Studio Code. But in my video demonstration today, I'll be using the Visual Studio Code. There. So let's open terminal. There. And uh, so for example, in our drive C, let's create a directory so the command is mkdir make directory example the django and then we have to go to our directory cd change directory the django okay so let me open our folder so what we did is in uh, our drive C and in our drive C <coughs> we created a folder named the Django ito yun yung MKD, uh, mkdir make directory okay nagugutom ako ako nagutom Okay, so anyway, yeah. So we created the, the Django. Now let's create a project. So gagawa na tayo ng project ngayon. So the command for creating a project. Okay. Ay, by the way, we have to install first the, the Django. So the command is Python uh, minus M. Oh, sorry pip install the Django but <coughs> in my case in my unit it's the, the Django is already installed okay yeah. then let's skip that then let's create a new project so the command is the Django uh, admin start project then for example new project so that's the name of our project new project okay. then let's try to open the folder that I see the Django new project select folder <coughs> so once we create 
this application uh, no this project so this files is already created and setting py urls and so on py files now let's open the terminal okay now that we created the uh, project let's try to run our project so the command is python manage.py then run server server <coughs> so next is let's try to open this one I don't like click copy copy and then open browser then the address default uh, address is one and uh, one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one then port eight thousand so this is working okay. So the install worked successfully. Congratulations. Then next, let's go back to our Visual Studio code. Okay. So now that we created and uh, run uh, the project, let's try to create now an application. So if you notice, I, I didn't stop the server. To stop our server, just press Control Control C. Control C, and then now we will create an application. So, for example, Python manage py. So this is the command. Start up. For example, hello world. So if you notice uh, in our directory, it created these files. So auto-generated siya. Okay. So that is the name of our um, application. For example, hello world. Next, um, once we created this application, you have to state that in our setting. Under the new project, we have the setting.py, settings.py, because we created a new application, so here, installed application or installed apps, you have to add the new application, hello world, there, and semicolon, I mean comma, save, make sure, uh, same spelling, hello world, hello world next and in our hello world we have the views.py okay so here we have to create a definition so for example hello world a definition that will request to return and render the hello world that HTML so the hello world that HTML is for our graphical user interface or user interface so we will be creating this one later on okay save <coughs> and then now we will create this one but first we have to create inside the hello world 
directory or folder we have to create a new folder and then the name of that folder is templates templates and then inside the template we have to create a file should be hello world.html this one Then, for example, uh, you can use HTML tags. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then, once we created this template, hello world, in our new project URLs, you have to add the path okay you we will create a path so for example uh, empty and then <coughs> include hello world that urls okay yeah so this one we have to uh import the include function or method in our import, uh, import include oh So any function or method that we used in uh, in our program you have to import that in here so take note that the method or function is already made programs gawa na siya na program so you need to import that one okay save <coughs> next is in our hello world we need to include because uh, if you notice here in our in this application new app project i mean project in our urls it will go to our directory hello world or the application hello world and then inside the hello world it will look for the urls okay so here we need to create a new file uh, urls that py next in our urls that py uh, we will create a url pattern patterns path global code views that hello world then name same hello world okay. then again uh, we uh, we use this function or method so you we have to in import so from the Django uh, the jungle that urls import path then from low world application import views there you go <coughs> and then save okay so let me discuss again we created this application hello world then inside the hello world because we created this application don't forget to put that in our setting.py inside the new project yan kasi gumawa tayo ng bagong application you need to state it here okay and then next is in our hello world 
application we have the views.py uh, views uh, we created a definition that will request and render and redirect to hello world.html so this is our hello world.html so we created template for that one yan okay dito this is the path and this one so again once our project uh run and uh, it will go first in our settings.py we installed the new application hello world then next is in our urls you need to include this path okay so include url uh, hello world in in our hello world we have the urls this one okay what else? yeah and then next is in our uh, urls here in our urls uh, we included the path that it will um, look for the views inside our hello world so this is our views.py and the name hello world because that is our definition hello world okay and then for that it will open this one hello world.html so that is inside our templates this one so let's see let's try to run our project so python manage.py run server hmm. Run server. Python manage py run server. Okay, and then let's go back to our yeah. in our browser, then refresh. What will happen? Yeah. Hello world. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to our Visual Studio Code. And then <coughs> URLs. <coughs> so here we have two paths. We have the admin and then the blank one. So for example, uh, let's try to put home in our path. Home. And then if you notice, I didn't uh, stop our server. So if I edit or change or modify the code, okay lang and then it will automatically uh, compile and uh, debug your code and then run the server if it case that we don't have any error but if in case now we have an error kasi for example that one and then save yeah. it will not uh, it will not al allow uh, your project to run save so running so meaning we don't have any syntax error then let's open uh, our browser yeah. so naglagay tayo dun kanina uh, we have home so here so if we click refresh page not found but we do have home karoon tayong home okay let's try it another name for the path so for example welcome welcome save so that is our path welcome so let's open our browser so again the we don't have any path for the home so include uh, page not found but we do have the path for the welcome yeah okay and then if you notice in our code we have here the admin 
and we have the admin this is auto generated once we created this application automatic na siya uh, the admin already created so here in our output you can put the admin <coughs> yeah, we have the username and the and then the password by the way class once we run the server I forgot to mention so once you run the server it will automatically create this one the database the marketplace has extension can be helped with the SQL tree okay so let's see see market SQL light install and then also uh, the viewer let's see by the way that is the this is the database okay this is the database so we install that here in our extension so uh, again I'm using the Visual Studio code so in our extension you can include the SQLite for the command and we have the SQLite viewer so that you can see the content of our database so we have zero tables we don't have any tables yet and so on the like okay next so let's go back here <coughs> again we created this application and then we put that in here the new application that we installed I mean we created and then <coughs> we created the path then next after creating a path in our urls.py no views pala views.py we need to create a definition definition because in here by the way because in our urls.py we have the pattern uh, in our hello world in our hello world application we have a views.py this one and uh, we created definition that will redirect to this file hello world.html and that is inside the our templates okay okay so how about let's say to create another <coughs> let's say to create another application gawa tayo ng bagong application command so the command is so python manage py start application sample sample na lang sample sample so automatic this is created then next is uh, once we create this application you have to go back to your project and then in your settings you have to include the new application sample sample okay <coughs> then after that uh, in our urls urls.py inside our new project we have to create a directory or path for sample sample okay then next is we have the urls so in our sample sample uh, if you notice we don't have any urls file here so we need to create a new file uh, urls that py inside our application sample sample yeah. okay next
in our URL.py we will create a URL pattern so URL patterns then include the path views that hello uh, no sample sample then same name yeah okay and then again you have to import so from the Django that your else <coughs> import path and also uh, from sample sample application import use import there <coughs> then save so here in our sample sample we have the views here so meaning in our use uh, that py we have to create a definition so definition sample sample then request <coughs> return render request for example this one that html <coughs> yeah then save so now we will create this file so inside this application we need to create another folder for templates then inside our template we need to create this file that html then the html command sample web page okay so again <coughs> in our urls and we have a path sample then let's try so uh, python manage.py run server so we don't have any error Let's check our output. Yes. So we have welcome path, hello world, and we have also the sample, sample web page. Okay, and what else? Okay, so that's all there. Then what else? Mm calling group one group one group one yeah that's group one okay and then foundation day and then in addition i have here the redirect 
uh, this will be our topic for tomorrow sample demo video demonstration and as well as my module <coughs> okay so uh, any question clarification Okay, so if you don't have any questions, so let's proceed to your attendance. Attendance. So today is March twenty-eight. Abat Antonio. Abad Angote Abdul Present sir Brioso Carl Present sir Kandaganan Miko Cardines John Paul Kandaganan. Kandaganan present. Cardines. Chan Paolo. Dacumos. Gapus. Jake. Garcia. Juko. Sir present po. Garcia. Gachalian. Piolo. Sir present po. Go Miguel. Sir present. Laron, Jeric. Present sir. Makabitas, Carl. Present, present sir. Minus, Raya. Present sir. Munar. Sir present. Ocasion. Okasyon Rujen O Manito, Jetro Sir Present Santos, Ralph Aquino Sir Present Barrera Present Sir Bernas Present sir Cuepo May may check lang ako class Class 2 is 3 P326 2 Ah, kuya po pala Kuya po Lisel Maroon naman siya oh Kuya po Lisel Missing, missing, missing Okay Ganyalon, Christine. Sir Present. Aramilia. Reina. Present, sir. Ano? Ba't nawala? Nawala. Sir Present. Ayan, Present. Montalia. Sir Present po. Toledo. Leslie At wala kang audio Toledo Sir present Ayun Villanueva Present sir 
Okay, last call, Abat <coughs> Cardines Dacumos Gapos Ocasion Santos Cuepo 